Hey everybody, welcome to LS Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching the channel as always. We've got another repair video today. It's another riding mower. I haven't had a lot of those this season. Uh, we had this LX279 John Deere and uh, maybe one or two more, but nothing crazy. Um, today we're going to work on this um, Yard Machines 18 horsepower Briggs & Stratton Opposed Twin uh, cylinder engine riding mower. It's from the late 90s. Um, around 99 or so and um, we shouldn't have to do too much to it I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do to it if I just want to swap and put a different deck on it that I have here in the backyard or if I want to put a deck spindle on this one the guy said he hit a tree root and uh, broke the deck spindle and it needs to be replaced I have a deck spindle and parts here at home to do it with I'm just kind of debating on what I want to do also we need to fix a couple of the front tires here uh, where they are either have worn bushings or just need some more uh, washers in them. So thank you all again, and we'll get started on this video again. If you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com or at ellismowers09 on Instagram and Facebook. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me give you a quick aside about this mower. Y'all saw the, it's right over there, Craftsman push mower that was over revving and vibrating. This came as a two for one trade for a, a Craftsman MTD big wheel push mower that I sold. So I said, okay, um, I'll take this and that push mower for the push mower that I sold him. I had it valued at $120, or list for $120. So I've already fixed that push mower for no dollars and about two hours worth of work or less really and then i've got this so um i think we can fetch about 400 or so for this and they don't bring a ton of money but we'll we'll make it work let's get a look at it this is like i said a yard machines mtd it's got an 18 horsepower briggs and stratton opposed twin cylinder engine on it runs good runs great starts up runs drives and uh just doesn't mow the guy ended up instead of fixing this one he ended up going ahead and buying a new one we do have the whole cracked hood situation down here at the bottom like all of them are it's just terrible but um other than that it's fine cosmetically um nothing crazy ridiculous or anything like that i do have one like well like i said he hit a tree root and I think this is the result of it. I think he busted a hole in this deck. So it's got a little bit of a hole right there. But it's like, you know, the tractor's in okay shape, fairly decent shape, I guess. Um, and it's like, does it warrant putting this deck on it, which is ready to rock and roll? Or do I save it for a better let's save this deck for a better day i'm not quite sure i don't think it'll ever go back on this lowe's mower at this point unless i have miracles happen to where i get this cleaned out and i don't have anything else to work on except for this mower so or like i said i already have the parts here here's a spindle i just need to flip it around to put the brake on the other side Need to put some sort of washer or something in it. I don't remember exactly what I need to do. There's a set of mulching blades. So, I mean, I've got everything that I need here to fix this deck. So I think we might venture to do that first because black mower, black deck is going to look a little bit better than black mower, gray deck. I could paint it black, but we got, you know, go all original here, so to speak. Let me... Um, See if I can show y'all how to take these decks off because they are a little bit of a pain. And once I get to that point, um, we'll just continue on with it. Doesn't need an oil change. It made it an air filter. I think I've got both of those here too. All right, let's get down and dirty on the deck. Sorry, mixed mowers. Down and down onto the deck, and uh, see what we got. All right, guys. Let me get down here. I'll show you. This is. This deck is fairly complicated because it's one of those that is on the side and this, when you engage it, pulls back to engage the blades and 
Um, so you got a bunch of mechanisms and stuff that are working all together here on these decks. Not the most friendly to take off, but I don't know how well you can see back there, but you've got your back plate, these two knobs here. You've got this adjuster that you got to take off. And one, is there one in the front? There's kind of one right there tucked down. Not the big arm that you see right there, but there's one, there's a couple down through here. And uh, a few others. I'm gonna lower the deck first. And we'll see if I can find all of them so that we can take them off. And on the other side, you've got a lift, I think you got your lift arms in the front. You might be able to see them and a couple other lift arms. Pretty much everything with an R clip you need to take off, honestly. It is a process to put them back on, if I remember correctly. It has been, I have not put one on since last year. So, oh, we're gonna take these R clips off. Just keep these and the washers in, kinda take a note of where they're supposed to be. And like I said, I've got to take these R-clips off the back as well in order to get this thing off. Or, if I'm lucky, maybe I can just take these clips off right here to lower the plate on it. I don't know which is going to be easier. i got R-clips in the back and then cotter pins right there in the front. So I don't, like I said, I don't know. It looks like approaching it from the back with the plate is going to work better. Let me work on that. And I'll get you to the point where we're about to take it off. I'll do my best to show you all the points as well. Alright, let me show you what I've done here. So there's a cotter pin on the other or um, There's an R-clip on the other side. It looks like this one's been replaced. But I took it out and now I'm able to slide this rod out. And what that allows me to do is drop, well, drop the mower deck, I suppose. We've got to get that plate up so we can get this deck out. So you have a bunch, basically everywhere you see an R-clip except for these back ones is what you need to take off in order to get this thing out. So what we're going to do, we've got this arm this arm this arm there's three on the other side too there's one of them that's inside that adjustment lever right there somewhere along right there that you got to take off but it's the same premise on the other side too so now i think what i can do is pull the deck forward and get it away from the plate and then i can wiggle this mess around and get it out of the way so the lift arms come up, the lift arms come up, these arms, and we have these two, two arms right here that we've got to get out of the way somehow. I don't know exactly how to do this. I almost think I'm, I almost think I'm going to pull this thing off the front of the deck, honestly. Um, jack the front of the mower up and pull it out the front because otherwise I might be trying to battle getting these arms away. Let me see what I end up deciding to do, but I just wanted to show you that before I got the deck off, because this is a, this is probably the most tricky deck that I have that you can find on a, like a lawn tractor or something along those lines. So, um, I just wanted to show you all that. All right, y'all. So I'm in the middle of it here. Um, not too bad so far. I, the biggest thing is I've got the, I soaked the stuff in WD-40 over there to hopefully get the threads in for this thing. I don't see where the spindle or the deck is bent where the spindle broke. Got a little bit of hole right there in the middle. That's pretty typical on a mower of this, on an MTD of this model. Here. But I've already taken the old blade off and put the new blade on the other spindle and got it to turn freely. You can see this old blade was trash. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that spindle over there. And uh, we're going to put it on. The biggest thing here is we don't need to be stripping bolts 
getting them into this thing. So I'm just going to raise the up. I put the, I reverse the, uh, the spindle so that it is on the correct way. Now it does have, it does have the brake on the top, so that's even a plus. I don't even know where this came from. All I know is that I have it. We're gonna line all the holes up. And alright. That is good enough to get them lined up at least. So now Let's see if we can get everything wiggled into place here. What I want to do is at least get... <clears throat> Had to find the bolts because I didn't have the bolts for this either, so... What I'm going to do is grab a socket and ratchet and get them all... Into place. Uh, we think we might be just a tad bit bent because I can't get it perfect. We'll see though. But that's, I mean, putting a spindle on one of these is a lot easier than putting a spindle on a craftsman. The craftsman's, it almost always seems that these bolts break off the spindles whenever uh, you undo them. I undid that one right over there. And I was able to get, you know, to match the bolts and stuff up with. And I was able to figure it out that way. But I've got these bolts in. I'm going to take it easy. Take it easy on these bolts to see if I can get them threaded in properly. And then we'll tighten them down. And I'll rejoin you after I get the blade and stuff back on. And um, show you the deck before we get it back on the mower to test it out. All right, guys, we've got it on here, and uh, I think we're going to be all right. I, uh, the, I did not take, let me get this off, let me get this. I did not take the impact on these bolts right here, because I'm fine thread aluminum. I got them started and just used that quarter inch ratchet with a half inch socket, and just picked at it a little bit, and, um, it ended up working just fine. We got the, got it nice and secure. I had a blade, did not have a blade nut. Found a blade nut. I keep those around as well. And uh, we got a blade spindle on this thing. So that's good. Let me turn it around. And we'll show you, I'll show you that they both spin freely. And then I will off camera probably because of how complicated that deck is. I'll put it back on and kind of show you how you need to put it back on. And then we'll give this thing a test run, see if uh, see if we've got a good uh, good mower here, or a good mowing deck. I will have to put that shield back on that you see on the far right of the screen. So, like I said, I don't have a clue where this deck spindle came from. All I know is that it was here. And... Uh, Go figure that it's something that I could use. So, huh. the one that wasn't on the mower is the one that makes the least noise. But they both spin very nicely, as you can see. So, I'm going to bring the push or pull the mower back in here. I'll get the deck on, get the deck belt on, and we'll see what we end up. We'll see if we have a mowing mower here when it's all said and done. Alright guys, I got the deck back on. I think we're going to be okay. Um, I don't know how to show y'all best here. Might need to lower this side just a hair maybe. I do need to check to see level wise how this is but i do want to see if it'll mow first and if it does great um i need to push that back down as well so again i just put all the points back on the first one that i made sure to get back on was that rod in the back 
and then all the others are kind of plug and play. I left the lever up all the way in order to slide the deck in and get that mount back on. And then after that, I just lined up the clips. These arms that you might be able to see right here and on the other side, make sure that they're pointing forward and not backward because you don't want to get the deck under here and then have to pull it back off just to get the deck to get the mounts to point forward. So now we do need to get some of these, get this wheel situation figured out here. I don't know if it's bearings, if I can, if I can fur it out with a couple of washers or something along those lines. It kind of looks like I, uh, can I? It kind of looks like the bushings are starting to get out of it or maybe somebody forgot to put washers on it, one of the two. We'll see what we can find. I might have a tire or two that I can make work on this, but it would be nice if I could preserve the original tires on it. I might work on that before I mow, or before I try it. I might just pull, rip these tires off real quick and see what I got. All right, guys, so I'm balancing a pickup here, so I'm actually going to try this before I do the tires. Um, <clears throat> we'll get this thing leveled. I think it does need a little bit of leveling. I will get the tires situated before I level the deck, though. Let me get it out here. Uh, it starts. It started yesterday, at least, after I put a battery in it. And we'll see if this thing will uh, throw some grass out here now. trying to mess up on the steering like these do a lot of times i think if i get some grease points and stuff on them i think i'll be all right but i will uh I'll obviously i don't think i'm gonna test mow the whole yard with it as you can see it runs just fine um and we just need to figure out the front tires which i'm about to, to uh figure out here so let me let me see what i can venture with the front tires because you can see it's trying The steering gear is trying to wear out on me because of the way the tires are because um, they're kind of low 
and uh, hard to turn. So I'm going to lube absolutely everything up steering linkage wise and see what I can figure out with these tires. And I'll get back with y'all when I finish that. And uh, I might go ahead and um, change the oil on it as well and potentially clean it up. All right, guys. So I ended up having to, I fixed this tire. I did put a little couple of spacers and they're still a little loose but the spindles are a little worn themselves and I ended up having a I ended up putting a different tire on this side I do need to put some ATF in both of the front tires especially this one but at least we're not rubbing up against the, the spindle anymore so that was the goal we got that accomplished um, do need to change the oil in it still and give it a nice cleaning which I think I can get that knocked out today. day so we'll see um, but let me give you all a maiden voyage of this thing. Again, I suppose. We'll ride it up and down. Probably we'll cut the uh, yard with it as well. Here, I'll just get you all on the tripod so that I can use two hands to turn this thing on. Lubed up everything on the front and it steers so much better now. So, that's good. And it runs great. It's trying to turn the blades a little bit. gear all right check the battery batteries charging so I really need to just level the deck and put a couple of ATF a little bit of ATF in the tires give it a um, nice cleaning and a good test mow and I think this thing's gonna be ready to rock and roll I'm excited for this thing this is a one this is essentially a one-day turnaround putting deck spindle on so I'm happy with that um, let me clean up a little bit, level the deck, do all that stuff. I'll give you all a final look of the product, of the mower, once I get it all done, cutting and all that good stuff with it as well. All right, guys, so here we are. This one's uh, finished, ready to go. I just finished uh, mowing the backyard with it, just wanted to test it. I was fairly confident that this thing was just fine, but I just wanted to try it either way. Y'all have already seen it run and drive. It runs and drives no differently. I ended up putting a different tire on the front just to space it out a little bit more from this deck, from this um, spindle, because the spindle where the um, wheel rests on, that's what's kind of worn out. 
and uh, so I put that different tire on which actually has a grease fitting but um, I, spaced, I was able to space it out a little bit more so hopefully it's not going to rub on that spindle because uh, the other one was starting to get some pretty bad rub marks. This one's not rubbing. They're kind of close but they're going to work just fine. Um, it still runs and it still steers and drives fine. It's just that front end's a little bit worn out but either way I've got it I had to put some ATF in that tire too so but the deck is good in good shape I know you got this one area right here but I'm not terribly worried about that I did as best we had a bunch of oil that was caked up I did my best to clean as much of it off as possible so that this engine can cool a little bit better but it's not it's not struggling while it's running or anything like that so um, these are a little bit difficult to start when warm because they do seem to get heat soaked pretty easily. Uh, but I just restarted this one. It seemed like it was alright. So I don't have one of these discharge chutes. But a lot of people take them off anyways. And the, um, the, bl the brake safety works but all the uh, safeties for the seat are missing. So... There's nothing really I can do when it comes to that. Again, the price point of this mower, we're just getting it to where it's going to run and cut just fine. This mower is actually going to go next door. He, my neighbor needs a mower that uh, is cheap but reliable. This should do the job. This thing mowed grass for 22 years at the other guy's place. And the, the, thing, that kept it, the thing that knocked it down was a tree root. So... So I think, uh, I think in terms of running gear and whatnot, it's fine. In terms of mowing, it does just fine, too, after I put that deck spindle on. It's, it's super. This actually is one of the quieter ones that I've had. I don't know if it's because it's not running as fast as it should, but in terms of mowing, it's one, definitely one of the quieter ones that I've had of these mowers. Usually the barons are pretty bad on the, the um, deck spindles. And them things will make a racket, but they'll they'll run for a long time. There's one that had rust, rusted deck spindles one time, and I hit them, and them and they broke free, and that thing made a racket, but it cut grass. So let's go ahead, and you can see it cleaned up super nice, and you just, and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this video up here next. So that's the end of this video. Um, all we had to do was fix a little bit of the front tires and space them out a little bit so they weren't rubbing on the spindles air them up and that did solve the steering problem i have not had the popping steering come back since i have done that which means that uh they'll do that sometimes when you don't have the tires aired up properly um when you air the tires up properly lube up everything it seems like it's working works better it didn't skip a tooth at all the whole time i was cutting so that's good um like i said this was going to my neighbor i'll get a craftsman on trade it's in um it's it could be in better shape, but um, the main thing it's going to need is a transmission because it is stuck in one gear. So I think the forks have seized inside, inside the transmission or something's broken there. Um, like the shifter's not even on it anymore. Uh, also, it needs a hood. And I think one of them deck guards. I have, I mean, I have at least the transmission and the hood here ready to rock and roll. So I just got to put one on it. And we'll be good to go. So anyways, thank y'all again for watching. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully y'all learned something about how to put one of these deck spindles on these uh, MTD yard machines riding mowers that have the little side lever deck. They're not the easiest. The, the hardest part about the mower is getting the deck off. Once you get the deck off, replacing, replacing the spindle is very easy. So thank you again. I um, hope y'all enjoyed this video and learned something. And as always, um, if you have any questions about the video or anything that you see on the channel, feel free to reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com or on Instagram, Facebook at ellismowers09. And I will catch you all in the next video. See you then.